Hello everyone and welcome to today's painting tutorial. So today I'm going to be taking you through how I paint the cherry wood you might have seen on uh, some of my Lumineth Realm Lords such as the Spears of the Dawn Riders and of the um, uh, Wardens. So the three colours we're going to need today are Dryad Bark, Wazdeka Red and Squeak Orange from the Citadel range. Now I have already applied a base coat of Dryad Bark uh, as I didn't really feel like it was necessary to show you that, but to the left there, there is a mix of dried bark and Wazdeka Red, roughly 50-50, and then a small amount of Wazdeka Red and Squig Orange, as you can see there too. So we're just going to begin after the dried bark application, of course, just with some water down of the 50-50 mix there, to start applying that. You don't have to be overly carefully careful, I should say, with this step. Just ensure that you leave even just a little bit of the dried bark visible though. And now I'm just going to be grabbing a small amount of the Wazdeka Red. And I'm going to begin applying some thin lines. Now for the process of this, you don't necessarily have to wait for the paint to dry from the previous application as uh, for a, any sort of like wooden style effect uh, with that grainy sort of vibe to it. Um, it doesn't really matter too much if it's quite random. And as you can see, just doing some thinner lines and then thicker lines with the sec second application. And now I'm going to be moving on to Squeak Orange. Now, this is quite a jump from Wazdaka Red, so for this particular part, I mean, I, I do want to try and get the lines as thin as I can, but if I happen to make a mistake and they're too thick, you can always just go back to the previous mixes and fix that up. And as you can see, with not much on the brush there, I have got my paintbrush angled in such a way that uh, sort of like think, think pen to paper sort of thing, just to ensure that uh, the lines are as thin as I can possibly get them.
And as always, just make sure you get your miniature in a comfortable position on your hand. For this particular model, it probably would have been a good idea had I left some of it unassembled. Um, but um, I did decide to just go ahead and build it essentially all in one piece with the exception of the shield. So now I'm going to be jumping back to the Dryad Bark and Wazdaka Red mix. And I'm just going to be fixing out some of those lines. As you can see there, that one was just a little bit too thick. And that is how I paint the cherry wood on my Lumineth Realm Lord. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. A uh, pretty quick one today, but I'll have a few more coming soon. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.